uh, Brandon, Manitoba tonight. What is it, March 20th? We got uh, the Cedar Sprayer College here. So, moving in tomorrow, but I'm here getting all the machinery running tonight. Make sure it uh, all goes tomorrow and all starts. Some of this stuff doesn't start that good in the winter, but anyways, we'll get it all ready. We're gonna get our tires moved out tonight on this sucker, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, take some more video for you guys. All right. All right, in the sprayer here now. We got. Uh, my tires moved out all the way everything's warmed up so hopefully she'll start again in the morning got the uh, big 60 foot planter out there and the axia it looks like a 930 track it's a cool looking tractor anyways hopefully these uh hopefully these two units start in the morning i'm gonna come out here later again tonight and fire them up again but move in move in tomorrow morning oh 6 a.m Got the sprayer going. See if we can get the old uh, tractor going. I was out here once more last night. Got them both started again. So it's minus 19 right now. But you know, if you start them every couple hours, they start pretty easy. That looks kind of cool. That smoke coming out of there. Steam. She is a cold one today. But we got her going. It's a minus 19 here right now, but she started somehow. So we're here the next morning. Sprayer fires up, no prob. See if the uh, Axion will start up again. Should. Right on. Love the big tires on these sprayers. You guys from uh, Gen Ag out here helping today. But we'll uh, drive in. Sure glad everything started. We're uh, driving over to the entrance there. We got a nice fancy fence road gator here too. Maybe we'll show some stuff on that sprayer later.
got this guy in here. And we're just uh, bringing the planter in now. Gotta unfold it right about here. We're uh, unfolding the 60 foot planter now. Hopefully, we don't smack her into uh, the side of the sprayer. We'll see. Good pro operator uh, Gerald in there doing it. So, we'll see how he does. I think we'll be just fine though. We don't smack the back wall. Nice. They have carousel in here from the fair or something, but I think they're gonna leave it. Covering up our carousel. Here's, here's what we got today. Barely managed to fit this thing in between the two walls. It was close, but I got her. Took some uh, tense moments, but it's in there. Cleaning again. Back on tires. The new fence pulling in here. Very cool. So, sprayer fender idea. Instead of buying these sprayers with, you know, two sets of fenders, we got a skinny one here that goes over the 380 tires, comes with another set of fenders that cover the big 900 tires. You know, I'm just gonna buy, we're gonna do just the one set of fenders out to here, but we're gonna cut it in half right down the middle and then bolt it on right here. So then when you change tires, you just undo another set of bolts right here and up on top. And then that second outside fender extender would just come right off. And then you wouldn't have to buy two sets. You would buy one big one. It's cut in half with bolts down the middle. It was uh, very close. We just barely got her past the uh, beam there to get the boom unfolded inside. So we have the outside flex it's kind of showing it off there. And, uh, I think you may not realize about these booms. You look at most other boom manufacturers. Next time you look at a boom, just take a look at it and look at the trusses. Most other sprayers, they'll have a cut right here and then two welds and two, and two pipes. And they'll have a cut right here and then two welds. And then a cut right here and then two welds. You look at this machine. This truss starts here. It's all one piece. It goes down and it goes up down and then up and down and then up all the way along the boom here so it just gives it extra strength um, you look at the way this is all plumbed everything is neat and tidy inside the trusses so you can't break anything um, I really like this but uh, three circulation lines are all stainless steel and routed on top of the booms. So we have our boom pipe underneath down here. And this is our recirc line up here. It's one big long pipe. Same thing with the boom pipe underneath. There's no breaks in between, only at the folds and on the breakaways, but it gives you less places for the chemical to hang up, less rubber hose. We still have rubber hose at our folds here, but less places for that rubber hose to soak up the chemical. So you can see our back rack is on a different angle than the rest of the machine. So what this means is it's off center. 
right? So this back rack can rotate independent of the machine. So the sprayer is going to bounce around, right, through the bumps, through the dips. But there's two hydraulic cylinders here that move this back rack. There's a tensiometer right here, and this one is going to give us the angle of what this back rack is. The two hydraulic cylinders are back here. You can see this one and the other one over there. And they're controlled by this gyroscope right here. So what that means is the back rack is now controlled independently like a drone or almost like a gimbal. And uh, you don't have to uh, worry about those booms hitting the ground when you're going through bumps. Uh, you look at our plumbing back here. This is our main product line. This is our main pressure filter on the back rack. But on the bottom of it, it has this line here, which is a self flushing uh, filter. So you know this, this guy here can back flush and dump into the top of the tank where it dumps into another filter and uh, catches anything that was in here. Uh, back here, we also have a air gun to uh, blow out tips. If you plug one. All right. Show you the rest of our display here. Got a Maestro planter, 4715, 60 foot. All unfolded. The big fence over there, they're cleaning up right now. Got the sprayer pretty clean. It'll never be perfect this time of year. I think uh, most manufacturers should do this, but if you take this outside sensor, most guys have it mounted, you know, somewhere down over here or even further where we have our, our fourth or our third sensor, sorry, but our fourth sensor goes way out to the end, which gives us, you know, better ability to contour the ground and climb the hills and uh, stay a bit closer to the ground. Big tires look good. So this one's uh, 1,700 gallons, 120 feet. The big, big new Fent Rogator, beautiful. Uh, looks like they got the Raven Hawkeye 2 system on it, same as ours. The Millennium Boom, beautiful booms. Didn't realize this on the, they install these Millenniums. They got this rack on the back here so the tips don't hit and it just kind of bends the breakaways back a little bit. So you can fold the tips in when it's completely folded out. That's what the Raven XRT system with uh, the radars. This looks like it's a one, two. sensor system so two two sensors on the right two sensors on the left and one in the center watching uh, sales guys stand around here see if any of them can figure this out it's like we got one two three four five six sales guys to fold up a planter I'm not helping either though so They'll get it. So all done, the sprayer in Cedar College. Uh, gotta fold up my sprayer here right away and we're gonna take everything home. So it's been about 15, 20 minutes here, but I think they got her all figured out. And uh, 
Yeah, they're getting their folded in here. So we have curl operators around here. Nothing but the best. Looks good. I'm kidding though. These guys did a great job this week. You know, I'm no planter expert. If I was sitting in there trying to figure this thing out, I'd probably still be working on it. So looks like they got her folding up now. Looks like there goes the gator. guys are still working on her here. I think they got some straps to hook up over there. All right, nice sunny day, Brandon, Manitoba. We got the uh, sprayer out of egg days, or the Keystone Center here. Got my four wheel steering on, so she turns nice and sharp. So one thing about these sprayers you don't really realize until you have it with four wheel steering you know getting in and out of shops getting around the yard when you're filling that kind of stuff you know these things will turn sharper than that pickup truck there they're pretty agile with that four wheel steering so i would miss that if i went back to a uh, two wheel steer sprayer you know, i guess uh maybe we could see it here let's try it in the snow here let's try pulling uh a circle because these back tires are going to follow directly in the tracks of the front tires so we'll try maxing out our steering here all the way to the left we'll see what kind of uh, path it leads here I'll slow down just a bit max her out here now so I'm maxed out on my steering you can see in my uh, window there here, I guess. Look at that. You can see in my camera, we have the exact same tracks we'll pull off. We'll take a look now. Let's see what kind of tracks we need. Look at that. So, this is pretty cool. We got a perfect circle now. A set of inside tracks and a set of outside tracks with those 900s. That's really cool. Not bad. 